everyone it's Kathy and welcome back to my YouTube channel and back into my craft room so good to be here and today I wanted to uh, work with the one of the new sets this is not available until January the 5th this is from our new mini catalog and the products in that catalog are absolutely beautiful as you'll see as I start pulling things out and working with them you'll see just how gorgeous this is but this two-tone flora makes such pretty uh, flowers and it is a two-step stamp set which means you can you don't have to color it has a background stamp that you can stamp in the color ink then you have an accent stamp that you can stamp over it and here's the sample that I made and these are the two flowers that I stamped uh, I did th this is done in Orchid Oasis and I stamped off to do my solid and then I didn't stamp off to do my detailed this one I did full strength of Orchid Oasis and then I did my detail in Starry Sky and I really like the way that one turned out but because I wanted a little bit of depth and um, dimension I wanted a flower that was a little lighter one that was a little darker so that worked out real good for me I made this a birthday card and it has a little slider this is what I like to call a pocket slider card and I have a sentiment on the front that says happy birthday and then you've got this little slider that goes in and I put let's celebrate you and I did some flowers and I tried to keep everything uh, to that one uh, bundle but I did pull out the second bundle that's called something fancy and I got that for my um, sentiments and for my die uh, my label die. So you'll see that when we work on the next one. I also use this um, new paper that is called Fancy Flora and it is absolutely gorgeous. It goes with the suite and look at the colors. Now this is the one I chose for today uh, for today's card. And I think it's going to be so elegant but the colors are just bright, bright and vib um, vibrant. I think that was bright. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it's just a beautiful pack of paper. So um, I know this is going to be a pack that's going to get a lot of use because it's just too pretty not to use it. So let's set that to the side. I'm going to show you what I have here. I have a scrap piece of Evening Evergreen. I have a larger piece of, uh, I'm sorry, let me go back. This is a scrap of soft succulent. This is a scrap of evening evergreen. And then I have this piece of uh, basic white. Now, what I want to do, I need something a little heavier for my slider piece. So I'm going to grab, this is a piece of thick. I'm going to use that up instead of this piece. Uh, if this has got a little bit more weight to it and it will just help your piece slide in and out a little better. If this is a little bit thicker, it just um, helps it to go in a little better. You have to work it when you first make this to get that pocket kind of opened, but it does go down in there. Just like that. And it's just really a pretty, and this this one turned out so cute, so dainty. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Don't worry about the measurements. Everything will be on my blog on the on the PDF. And that's a free tutorial that you can print out, uh, save to your computer or whatever. And all my information is there. So you'll have everything you need if you decide you wanted to place an order. The information is there where you can go directly to my site and place an order just by clicking on a link, which just makes it so simple and so easy. All right, let's move this to the side. And here is my piece of paper that I want to work with. But I'm going to start with my base. And I want the evening evergreen. I think that's going to be so pretty with this. So I'm going to cut this to four and a quarter. And let's see if we don't already have it at four and a quarter. No, maybe... Hmm, looks pretty close. Let's just... And it's just a smidgen off of it and when I say a smidgen it is just not even a sixteenth of an inch which is great then we're going to turn it and we're going to cut it at five and a half I 
Now this is going to give us our card base, so lay that to the side. The next thing we're going to need to do is cut our, DP, our DSP, and this piece is going to be 3 and 7 eighths by 4 and 1 fourth. So we know the 4 and 1 fourth needs to be this way, so um, yeah, so we need 3 and 3 eighths this way. So I'm going to put this in. I'm going to turn it around because I want this side to show. Three and one, two, three eighths. And then we need to cut this piece at four and one eighth. So four and one eighth is right there. And that gives us our piece that we need there. And we also need a piece of white that is going to be four by four and one fourth. So I'm going to do four. I'm going to turn it and this is going to be four and one fourth. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to mat this. Hmm. Okay, did I miscut this? If I did, I'll have to grab another piece. Four and one eighth by three and three eighths. and seven eighths. I did cut that piece wrong. Not to fret because you know what I'll do? I'll just save all of this and I'll use this on something else. Let's go back in and find that sheet just like that one. And I think it's right there. Let's try this again. Three and seven eighths would be almost four. And then four and one eighth. I mean, this should fit on here a little bit better. And what this is, is this is just going to be a mat around this to give it a little bit of dimension. And I think that's going to look so pretty on the evening evergreen. Isn't that pretty? We're also going to need the slider piece, like I said. And this piece is going to be three and a half by three and three fourths. I mean, four, four and three fourths. Goodness. All right, so we're going to cut four and three-fourths. Then we're going to turn it and we're going to cut it at three and a half. Alright, so this is the piece we're going to need the little thing at the top where you can do a stripe. There's so many different things that you can do with this. I think I'm going to continue and use the little tab piece. I thought that was so cute. And all I did to do that with was a, um, just a circle punch. If you don't have a punch, you can use your smallest die and do it. But you just want to cut out a piece of this designer paper. And 
and you can always use the back side if you wanted to because that will blend in with this paper as well but what I want to do is fold it in half I'm just going to finger fold it first then I'll grab my bone folder and give that a good crease Now I'm just going to eyeball center this. You can measure if you like, but I'm not. I know it needs to be something like that. It just gives you a little place to know you need to pull. So this works out really good for that. So what I'm going to do is take some liquid glue. Like I said, you just want to put this on at the top and just eyeball center it. Once you get it where you want it, just give it a good press. And then we're going to, we're going to go ahead and um, We're going to stamp our sentiment, but before we do all of that, I want to pull out this new ribbon. This comes in a combo pack, and I believe it is This comes with a real red, so it's a it's a double combo. But I was playing around with it while ago, and I've tied this cute little bow, and that precious. And we're going to use that on our card. But I thought wouldn't it be nice to put a piece of ribbon around this piece? So we're going to try that and see what happens. So I am going to use liquid glue for this, and all I'm doing is adhering my piece of designer series paper to my white cardstock. Now I'm just going to put it on here and this is why I like my liquid glue. It gives me a little bit of wiggle room so I can kind of wiggle that around and get it nice and straight. Now this is where my ribbon's going to come in. I think what I want to do is turn this over and I'm going to grab my Stampin' Seal for this. Deciding where I want the flower, I mean the ribbon, to, to fall. And I think here and here will be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of the ribbon and I'm just going to catch it into this Stampin' um, Seal. And I'll come around to the other side, but you don't want to make your ribbon too tight, but you don't want it too loose either. What you're looking for is a nice, perfect fit. I get that pressed in really good and then I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and trim that off just like that. Then we have a great little piece of ribbon right here at the bottom. Looks so cute like that. Then we're going to put this piece on 
the top but we're making a pocket so don't forget when you make a pocket you only need to go around three sides so determine which side you want up and I think I want it like this and I'm going to put glue down the side across the bottom and up the other side leaving the top portion open so this is where your small chip bottle comes in really handy I got a little bit too much glue right there and keep it over to the edge quite enough we're gonna glue it down and hope for the best so now what I'm doing is I'm trying to get this centered pretty so I'm going to squeeze just a little bit right here to give me that little bit of an opening of a pocket just ever so slightly So now I want to make some embellishments for the front of it. So I am going to grab a piece of thick uh, Whisper White. Let's see if this is going to slide in here before we go any further. push that in one side came up so when if that happens to you just go back in with your liquid glue give it a good press make sure it's adhered I'm gonna lay this over to the side for a minute while I do some stamping Alright, the first thing we're going to need to do is our flowers that we want to put on the front. Yeah. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my stamp set. I'm going to show you how to stamp the uh, these stamps using the two-step um, stamp system. The first thing I'm going to do is put down, you know, I'm not even sure if this is going to work good embossing. Maybe... Maybe I will go with the Sahara sand. Let's see how it looks in Sahara sand or soft suede. Tell you what, let's do soft suede and Sahara sand. These two colors go really good together. So I'm going to start off with the um, the ba the base of the flower, not the outline, but the the actual gob of the flower and that's what it looks like when you ink it so we're not going to heat emboss after all so I'm going to ink this up really good just like that I might do one more right here Then we're going to take the detailed one and use the soft suede. That's this one.
Look how that makes that come to life. Isn't that pretty? And equally as pretty. I love those. So now we need a couple of leaves. And I think I'm going to do those in soft succulent. do three of them and decide which ones I want to use. All right, so we've got that much done. So we need to also cut our, our stamp, our sentiment. So our sentiment is coming from the Something Fancy labels and dies. And actually, no, I'm sorry. Yes, Something Fancy. And this is what they look like. And I'm going to pull this one out right here. this one we have a happy birthday and what that's the one we're going to use so happy birthday and I'm going to use Versafine for this Stampin' Up! doesn't carry Versafine but it's a pigment ink that does not dry real quick but with it going through the um, wash cycle first, I'm hoping that that will make everything better. All right, so before I go any further, I'm going to get my, my stamp and scrub out. And I'm going to clean and draw my stamps. That'll be all my stamps that I need to clean. Now let's go ahead and get our dies and we're going to cut these out and I'll be right back. All right, I've got my pieces cut and you can see everything comes out really, really well. One of the great things about the stamp and cut and emboss machine is everything really does come out good. And they're offering um, the fr the mini uh, free this month, or uh, starting next month, I'm sorry, starting in January, January the 5th. And it's such a great deal because um, I've got all the information up on my blog if you want to go check that out. If you're interested, you can come in and just snatch the kit and then leave. No questions asked. So give it a thought. I think $129 you get the the stamp and cut and emboss machine, the plates, everything that goes with it. Um, plus you get $125, no $175 worth of stamping rewards, which is great. Alright, so now let's bring our card back out. Now let's do our stamping. Let's stamp our sentiment on the front of this. And I'm going to go... I love that one, may the good you do come back to you. Um, but this is going to be a birthday card because we got happy, happy birthday on it. 
So we're either going to have to make our own like we did in the previous card or go with something else. And I think I'm going to go with the, with this. I didn't forget your birthday. I'm just stretching the I'm just stretching out the celebration. I think that one will be really good. I'm going to put that right about there. Still gives me room enough to sign down here. And I'm going to load this up on a stamp block. And I think I'm going to stamp it in the Evening Evergreen. Okay, let's do one other thing. I'm going to grab the little flowers out of this stamp set. We've got these little flowers right here, and we are going to stamp them. do those in the evening evergreen as well maybe soft succulent we'll go back with the with that one to do the centers so let's do this in soft succulent have our little centers so I'm going to go into my evening evergreen and we are going to line up not perfect but it's okay for the oh we need to do the other one really does make the card pop on the inside by doing a little something extra. So now we can come over, look at our pocket, and I'm just going to go down inside of it a little bit to make sure I've got enough of space to slide this in. Alright, so now what we need to do is position our flowers and our leaves on. So I'm going to bring this back out. And I want this one like right about there. And this one here. And we're going to get our leaves. I'm going to trim this leaf just a tiny bit. put uh, Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of this because I think it makes it look so much uh, prettier when they're popped up. So I am going to grab my Stampin' Dimensionals and I had them right here just a minute ago.
Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the flowers over like this. I'm going to put the darker one down first. Then I'm going to do the same thing with this one, but this one I'm going to sit it where I'm only going to have dimensionals on this side. So just about three right there. Should be plenty. I'm going to have one flower that's going to kind of overlap the other one. Just giving it a bit of dimension. I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm just going to curl these leaves just the slightest little bit just to give them a little bit of height and I'm going to take liquid glue and put on the back of these Do the same thing with the other little other leaf. And I'm going to tuck it right about there. And then we're going to put our sentiment on right here. So I think if three um, of dimensionals across the back of this would be more than enough. there is our sweet little card that is so festive now if you wanted to if you don't want to write on the pull out piece that is part of your card you could put another panel of white on the back and have a place to write your note if you're one of those people that likes to write a long note okay let me bring my set oh the bow the, the crowning touch the bow is going to go right about here, and I'm going to put that on with a couple of sticky, um, the mini glue dots. Since this bow is a little bit bigger, I'm going to go ahead and put two on. And there is our finished card. Is that not gorgeous? I love this paper. I love this little design. You can do this design so many different ways. So give it a try. You know, I probably should have put my bow right here and I'm going to put one more glue dot There 
is our pretty card for today. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this little tutorial on how we did this. It was so much fun to make. And like I said, you can make this with all different types of designer paper. And if you've got a pretty paper, you don't even need an image, a focal image. Um, I just wanted to kind of take it up a notch and show you that you can do it without a whole bunch of um, stamps and dies. Let your paper do the work for you. So God bless and keep you. And as I always say in closing, let everything that you say and do bring glory to our Father in heaven. He is worthy. Until next time we craft, God bless and keep you. Bye-bye.